evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Hexagon Update. I'm Sean Anderson from 103.5 FM WTOP. And I'm Hillary Howard. Well, thank you. You can applause for our stage. <laughs> we'll take that. A Hexagon Update would like to apologize before we even start for the lack of humorous news breaks concerning this year's presidential campaign. <laughs> We find we are unable to actually surpass what is happening. <laughs> the Maryland Department of Motor Vehicles reports that a man wanted to get a personalized license plate, but found he could not afford it. So he changed his name to JKM345. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The National Institutes of Health have issued guidelines for people who are experiencing gender confusion. Look in your underwear. <laughs> Before leaving town for a two-week recess, Majority Leader Mitch McConnell pushed through a resolution declaring Washington's Metro the official transportation system of the Senate Republican Caucus. <laughs> McConnell's spokesman says the leader wanted to honor, quote, something else that stops working all the time for no good reason. <laughs> the Washington Post recently reported about a woman who gave up social media and is trying to make friends outside of Facebook with Facebook principles. Every day she walks down the street and tells passerbys what she's eaten, how she feels, what she did the night before, what she will do tomorrow, and then she gives them pictures of her family. Now, she doesn't have any friends. <laughs> In medical news, the wife of a Fairfax County man got stuck on a toilet seat after he had painted it. <laughs> Unable to remove her from that toilet seat, he unbolted it and took her to the ER. The wife, trying to lighten the embarrassment of all, uh, said, well, doctor, I bet you've never seen anything like this before. The doctor replied, actually, I've seen lots of them. I've just never seen one mounted and framed. <laughs> A recent article in Cosmopolitan magazine listed a number of mechanical devices which increase sexual arousal, particularly in women. Chief among them, the Mercedes-Benz 500 SL. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, <laughs> an elementary school teacher this past January asked her students what they did on Christmas Eve. The first little boy said that he went to midnight mass with his family. A little girl then said that her family sang carols and put out Christmas cookies for Santa Claus. Remembering there was a Jewish boy in the class and not wanting to leave him out of the discussion, she asked what he did on Christmas Eve. And he replied, well, miss, it's the same every year. Dad comes home from the office. We all pile into the rolls and we drive to the toy factory that he owns. When we get inside, we look at all the empty shelves and sing what a friend we have in Jesus. <laughs> and then we go to the Bahamas. <laughs> Thank you. We'll be back. Thanks.